felt like you know the first day of actually getting back out here and and putting on a helmet and, and kind of going 80 to 90 percent. Uh, felt good to be back out here. Brendan, right. you're mentioned just about anywhere from Heisman Dark Horse to battling for a starting position. Just taking all those different assessments, how do you as a leader, uh, Coach mentioned that you as a leader have to move forward? Um, yeah, I think you just try to you try to be consistent. You try to be the same guy every day that you you know you, you get out here on the field because that will radiate you know throughout the rest of the team. And I think consistency is the biggest thing that this team has to focus on. This offense specifically um, to be as successful as we want to be. So you know the outside, the media, the the, the attention, the um, we all got uh, recommended or whatever it was for those awards. It's all great. And um, I think the guys who did understand that there's more to be done than just those individual awards. Coach mentioned that you had become more vocal. Uh, what's last year you were more like the deferring here because you had so many veterans yeah. around you. What's helped prompt you to uh, emerge more? Than just taking a different leadership role. Um, last year, like you said, I had those guys, I had those seniors who were uh, going to be vocal. And I think I was more vocal with it when it came to the quarterbacks and, and, and the younger guys. But those guys, you know, the Mikes and, and the Qs and Josh who've played for three, four years, those guys had the vocal, um, you know, authority for the rest of the team. Have Sam team, and so. Alex available as um, well. I'm just trying to take that leadership role now this year. Brendan, is there a change in mentality or preparation or how you just go about things from last year at this time to this year? Obviously last year when you came in, you hadn't started really, but you, there was no question you were the starter. Yeah. Um, whereas this year, obviously, Ian's right there, right behind you. How, is there any change in the way you look at things as you enter camp? No, I don't think so. I think I've matured. Um, having a year under your belt helps you immensely. Um, just with confidence being out here, coming out here the first day of camp, year two is, is a, just an extravagant leap for me in, in terms of confidence and, and understanding what my guys are going to do out there on every play. So I think, like I said, having that consistency and that mindset of being consistent, being the same guy every day I come out here, I think that's going to you know, prove to be uh, my biggest asset. Game time. Brandon, what's the biggest thing you feel you have to do in this next month to, to make sure that you are the guy starting against Michigan? Be consistent. Um, I mean, completion percentage. You know, obviously that's a, that's a huge part. Being being accurate, um, being decisive, uh, taking a leadership role, um, understanding the offense, ins, ins and outs of the offense, and then obviously as Michigan comes around, being able to prepare for for our, for our opponent. And um, I think, you know, the quarterback room is, is such a cohesive unit. And I think we're going to push each other, Ian and I, and, and obviously Phil's now in the mix, and um, all the rest of the guys. I think we, we, we team up and we do a pretty good job of, of helping each other out through this process.